Hey everybody, this is Steven with the Simple Tech Life, and I'm here to share with you a new um, app that I've been using for a while now, and it's really made a huge difference in uh, my everyday life. I use it all the time, so I'm uh, looking forward to sharing this one with you. Uh, let me give you an example of the power of, of this app. Um, let me pull up uh, some websites here. Uh, you know, I've got um, usernames and passwords um, spread across um, at least probably 80 to 100 different websites. Um, you know, just for some simple examples, uh, you know, if I go to a bank here, Wells Fargo, you know, they're going to require a username and password. Um, if you go to, uh, say, I, you know, my TV is services through um, DirecTV. And so if you go to DirecTV's website, um, you know, you're going to need to log in there with uh, a username and password as well. Um, and just a third simple example is if you do any shopping online, you know, you've got uh, uh, companies like Amazon.com uh, where you're going to need to sign in with a username and password uh, sign in as well. Um, before this uh, app, before I had this app, um, I kept, I hate to admit it, but I kept a lot of my usernames and passwords in note fields um, in my email application and uh, they were unprotected and it was uh, dangerous to say the least but I just didn't know where else to put them um, and they were with me all the time uh, on my cell phone which was important because if I was out and about doing things and I needed to have access to an account um, that was the best uh, way I could come up with to keep track of them um, and then came along a company called uh, LastPass uh, if I go to their website here <clears throat> and bring up lastpass.com, uh, you'll see it's spelled L-A-S-T-P-A-S-S, -S, and here's their website. Um, this company is, uh, is really doing a great job at providing a very simple, easy-to-use application. Um, and for a little bit of disclosure here, I have no connection with LastPass. Um, my use of their application is purely on my own, so I have nothing here to gain from uh, uh, giving you a, a review of LastPass. Um, it, and everything I'm sharing here is just from my personal experience. Um, when I first went to look for a password manager, um, LastPass, and there were a couple other companies out there that I looked at as well, who also, by the way, had um, some good offerings and um, capabilities in their software as well. Um, for me, it came down to a couple of things. One, I think at the time, um, if I rec recall, I didn't have an iPhone, I used an, an Android phone, and LastPass was, I think, the only company at the time that offered an um, Android um, solution. Um, if you look here at their website, you can see they've got some pretty simple descriptions here as to what LastPass is, it, but it's basically a password manager um, to manage all of your user names and passwords. Um, and it also does more than that, but let me walk you through that. So if you click here on features, um, you're going to see a description of some of the key features um, that come with LastPass. And the other wonderful thing about uh, this product is the, the, the basic version is free, so there's no cost. Um, the power of a password manager is you create um, an account um, that sets up and stores all of your usernames and passwords across every website or bank uh, information, credit card information, and you can put all of that information into this um, one secure location. Um, and then you have one password that you can remember to give you access to all the other account passwords um, uh, that you need access to. And I'll walk you through some of this here. Um, the other thing that LastPass does is it says over here is automatic form filling. You know, how many times do you go to a, web, a website and you have to register the first time and it asks for your name, your, you know, your email address, your, your, uh, maybe your city and state and your, your uh, address uh, and other information. And, uh, you know, you, you enter it time and time again. But you can, here in LastPass, create a, uh, what's called a fill form where you put that information into a, a form. Um, you see, I put my name and my, my address and my um, phone number. And then when I come to a website that requires me to enter that information, I simply um, select the, the fill form and it automatically populates all those um, fields of data into the form that I'm filling out on the web. So it really saves a lot of time. It's really wonderful. Um, this whole notion of one-click login um, is basically, again, where I can um, go into my LastPass account and select a bank or uh, any other account that I've set up 
and I click on it and it automatically logs me in. It goes to the website, logs me in to that website with my username and password. And it also makes um, it very easy now to create unique usernames and passwords across every different account. Again, I hate to admit it, but I think this is probably true across most people, um, is when you are trying to manage your usernames and passwords yourself, you tend to pick either um, the same password for all your accounts, or you might vary it a little bit. And as we all know, that's a stupid thing to do, because if somebody gets access to that one password, um, they could get access to multiple accounts. Uh, with LastPass, every single account I have has its own unique password. And quite frankly, I don't even know what the passwords are off the top of my head because I've got every one unique. Um, but they're all stored and located um, in my LastPass uh, account. Uh, the other thing I'm sure that some of you might be um, uh, concerned about with having your passwords um, stored out on a server in the internet cloud um, is the way LastPass does their encryption. It's a very secure um, identity theft protection uh, scheme that it really does a really good job of protecting your data. If you'll see here in this box, it says uh, protect against identi identity theft. Um, one of the, just one of the various mechanisms that LastPass uses to protect your data is when they go to store the data out on, on the secured server uh, in the cloud, they encrypt the data using your password that you've created that only you know as the means to encrypt and decrypt your information. So think of it like the, the password that you create um, is used to create the, the, the methodology by which the data is encrypted on this um, in the cloud. And so the only way somebody would be able to unencrypt or look at and view your, your data, if you will, would be to have your pa master password and then have the uh, encryption algorithm that LastPass has created, which is also, again, something they don't, naturally they don't share that. Um, but that somebody, a hacker would have to have both uh, your password as well as their encryption methodology and would have to have cracked both of those, which is, uh, as far as I can tell, they've never had a problem with anybody breaking in, um, hacking in and being able to gain access to anybody's personal information. In fact, LastPass will tell you if you forget your username and password or forget your password, if you will, um, that you have with LastPass, don't call them because they don't know what your password is. It's all encrypted and they can't um, they can't unencrypt your information without your password. So knowing your master password is absolutely critical. Uh, so let me um, go in and show you how this is all done. If you go back to the um, LastPass main page, um, I'm on a MacBook Pro here. So if you click the free download LastPass, um, you can go to this page here and it will uh, if you're using a Mac, it will automatically offer the software for your, in my ver in my case, Firefox plugin. Or if I'm using uh, Safari down here, it would uh, give me an option to load the Safari plugin as well. And you simply um, click the download button, and it goes ahead and downloads the application to your computer. Um, you click the install add-on now and since mine's already installed I won't do that but you'll stick click install now and it will go ahead and install the add-on and you'll have to restart your browser window once your browser is restarted you will see a um, a little LastPass icon up here in the corner when you click on that it will open up a window that will show you um, the login information for LastPass if you haven't logged in before, it will give you an option to create a new LastPass account. Uh, it will require an email address, and then you'll you'll uh, use a master password. And again, you want that master password to be very secure. So, so you know, think of something that's unique, um, that's got a lot of characters in it, uh, different cases, um, but um, fill it with a, as much complexity as you can because you want that password to be very secure. Uh, and then you, uh, once you enter that, you click login, and it will take you into your LastPass um, account. Uh, a couple other things. There is a premium version of LastPass. Um, if I go down here to the features, or if I go back to the features section, uh, if you go down, you will see that there is a premium version. Um, with premium, you can share 
password information for accounts. So for example, my wife and I both have a LastPass account and we both need to log into the same bank uh, to get our banking information. So we can um, share a, a unique login and when I update the login username or password for that bank, it will automatically sync that with my wife so that she doesn't have to keep a separate login for that one bank. So that's very handy and very cool. Um, you can also import your existing data from other password managers uh, or from if you use the browser to keep some of your password data, you can import that data into LastPass with the premium version. Um, you can also do backup and restore and you can export data. And the other thing I really, really like about the premium uh, version is it gives you access to LastPass on your mobile device. So they've got an iPhone um, app, they've got an Android app, they've got a Blackberry app. Uh, you load that app on your cell phone and now you've got LastPass um, to take with you wherever you go which is again very powerful. Um, I can't tell you how many times you know you go to an ATM, um, uh, you forget your PIN number, you uh, are out and about and you need to get on your computer and log into a, a bank or something and you don't remember the username and password. Again, it's all right there either on your cell phone. Um, the LastPass app as well, uh, while it can be installed on a computer, they've also given us the ability to once you've got an account, you come back to the LastPass website and you see that there's an ability to sign in to LastPass. So you click on that and literally from any computer that has access to the web, you can access your LastPass vault or account by logging in uh, to that account here with your email and your password. So again, extremely uh, versatile and capable. It secures your data. It works across operating system platforms for Windows or, or Mac. It works on multiple browsers. It's available um, on your cell phone. It's very simple to use and makes my life so much easier. And then the best part probably of all for many people is um, the basic version is free and the premium version is only $12 a year. So yes, a dollar a month. Um, for this uh, really good, powerful application. So I would encourage all of you to go out and take a look at LastPass and see how you can put it to use in, uh, in your everyday life. I know it makes my life and my family's life a lot easier, which is what the Simple Tech Life is all about. So hey, I appreciate you for watching my video. If you would uh, please rate my video. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the uh, remarks section and I will respond to them as quick as I can and subscribe to my channel, The Simple Tech Life. Thanks a lot, everybody. See you later.